still stuck with us. <laughs> <laughs> still playing with us. Sorry, Did brother. Did you give me tapes or CDs? <laughs> CDs. CDs nuts! <laughs> <laughs> How does it feel to be putting out new music after all this time? It's weird. It's weird. I mean, we, we, we've we been creating music and recording music, I mean, since the first album. It just never goes anywhere, you know? I mean, we've got, I think we've got a whole al couple albums sitting around, you know, in, in files. We wanted to put something out in 2008, and we had a lot of songs recorded for it. Nothing finalized. It wasn't final mixed or mastered or anything. Um, but we have just, you know, a, probably 25 songs that we've recorded. We had so many other distractions in our lives at the time that we weren't able to really completely uh, finish the product. We have a lot of songs that are probably could be cut and, and done, but in that length of time from, you know, in the last nine years, it's been so many changes in our lives and the music. So this at this time, we've really honed it into like the last I think nine months. And now it's really, it's really nice to actually be putting something out into the world and say, okay, here's, here's what we're doing. Take it or leave it, you know, this is, this is what it is and it's nice. The only reason that we're doing this disc, honestly, I don't care what anybody else says, I don't care what anybody else says, is we, we threw a deadline on it. We had a show lined up to do this, this reunion one. I mean, we, this, none of this is planned. It was gonna be, look, we're doing a 10 year reunion show. That's what we were gonna do. And then bring the new band up, we'll do kind of 50-50 and call it a day. And all of a sudden it was like, we should put some new music out because we have a show, we got a date. So we set a date, that's why the disc is coming out. What has the recording of this new EP been like for you? For me, it's been transformative. Um, the recording of this EP was done at my house in the studio that we built, that Gary and I built in my house. And we built a second studio in Gary's house. Th this disc is like nothing we've done. Nothing we've done. Recorded in a studio that we built. I mean, we have com complete control. It's awesome. Different. Um, I was out of my element. This has been a totally different process than what we had on the first two albums. Like, this is, the recording for me has been more freedom. Uh, where before it was, we're going to schedule three, four days in the studio and we're going to go in and we're going to have, you know, five hours here, six hours there, and we have 50 or 100 hours to get the whole album done. So we're going to cut a line and it's going to be, all right, that's good enough, let's go and we'll cut the next thing. And with this, we, we did everything ourselves. We all have our own recording consoles at our houses. I can record my guitar parts at my kitchen table and uh, Mike demos all the songs in his basement. As a musician, just to be able to play every instrument on the recording and then give them to the guys and say, okay, I came up with a demo last night, I'll send it to them in the Dropbox and they'll look at it, listen to it and say, okay, I see where you're going with it. I want to do this to the drum part. I want to do this to the bass part. I want to do this to the guitar part. Oh, I hear another guitar part here. Or maybe there's a harmony here. That that can happen, that you can have an idea and give it to somebody and they can just do something with it you couldn't have ever anticipated. It's nice. It's a really nice feeling. From my standpoint, it's, it's almost more a, a more classic rock folkish type sound, but it's just, it's more of a mature sound to me now. The songwriting's more mature, the themes are more mature. They're more self-assured, I think. I think they know what they're doing now. The songs seem more cohesive with each other um, than they did before. They all did before, too, but there was, you could hear a lot of disparate st styles in there, but it was always the same band. Stylistically, I think they're more focused with this. And that's just come from growing up, being getting older, and doing it for so long. Where do you see Simple Life going from here? I, I think we're going to continue to play and continue to record just as we always have. But I think a goal that we have now is to continue to put out a finished product uh, that we could you know, make publicly available, uh, maybe five or six song EPs, 
every six months or you know every nine months or every year or something like that uh, we will always play out live that's something that will never change I don't know it's, it's hard to say I think the material that we have on this disc is good enough to go anywhere uh, I hear a lot of this stuff um, in movies, you know, a lot of sh uh, very popular songs that you hear end up in movies, things like that. And I think this stuff is—it's sonically, it's—it's it's there. So you know, I, I could see this ending up there. That is, if any producer knows what the hell they're doing. We would love to play big shows and big festivals. Um, we'd love to get airplay, and um, we'd love to get a nice, nice following across the country. That would be really cool if we could reach people in other markets that have not heard us before. And I think that if something were to happen where we were offered to play some, some cool shows in some different markets and reach some new people, that would be very cool. Um, that would be about what I would expect or could hope for, for, for Simple Life. San Francisco.